Hello, my name is Jesus Medina and I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which is rather not recording this. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys, uh, I got a question uh, from one of the YouTube, uh, fellow YouTubers uh, asking me uh, how to dissect an orthodox boxer as a southpaw. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that because he was noticing uh, a video where I'm showing a southpaw what they need to do with their stance and all that. Uh, and I was, uh, I, I referenced how a right-handed boxer would dissect the middle of their opponent. Um, uh, so basically what it is, is you dissect the middle of your opponent by your left foot, your right foot, if you're, a, if you're a, a orthodox. So with your left foot, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I wanted to say. So what it is, is you don't want to point too much forward. No one naturally does that anyways. What people do is they stand sideways like this, naturally. All right, so you're not dissecting, look where my foot is pointing, it's pointing that way. My opponent would most likely be in front of me, right there. So that means I got to point that toe towards their midline. All right, so as you can see over here, standing right here in front of me, all right, uh, a little bit of an angle about there. All right, so I don't know if you can see right there, my toe is, is pointing towards the middle of, of, uh, of uh, my opponent. All right, circle to your left. So no matter where I go, I'm going to be dissecting this middle. As you can see the toe. All right, from right here, I can do any type of motion with power. Position of power. I can come in, uh, uh, control the distance that way. All right, now I'll go ahead and go back over here where we started again. So now, uh, um, if I stand the way most people stand, which is a little bit off, they point towards the, the right, uh, uh, meaning, you know, instead of being like this, all right, this, is, this should be the proper way, even if you're shooting, this is the proper way of, of uh, 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 rifle or anything like that. You get better uh, targeting range uh, if you go like this because everything's tight, compact into one force and you can get that recoil better. Anyways, if you go this way, you're not going to be able to, you're going to naturally pull back this way if you're shooting. It's the same thing with the punching, same thing with taking shots. Right here, I'm vulnerable for any left hook even if I block it. Right, let's show them real quick what I mean by that. So if I'm like this, go ahead and give me a right hook. Oh, realistic. Come on. <laughs> okay. There you go, see, I, 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 see, I lost it right there. Even though I stepped over to catch my footing, I lost it because of the way I was positioned, the way the force is coming. Stand right in front of me. All right, so the force is coming from here to here. All right, if I'm pointing this way, look how my heels are at. All right, if I try to take that shot, if he overpowers it, once my head, right there, once my head gets behind my butt, that's when you lose your, 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 your balance. Not your equilibrium, but your balance. So if you're like this, go ahead and do it again. Give me a nice good hook. All right, I can push into it easier. All right, it's easier to push in this way. Go ahead, do it again. All right, so all I do is kind of duck a little bit and move into it. That's all I need to do, and I don't move at all. My head doesn't uh, uh, lose its equilibrium, doesn't get shot or anything like that. Just from that simple positioning. So anyhow, that's how a righty will uh, 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 dissect a, a opponent, another orthodox opponent. Um, so now for lefties, most of the time they're going to meet right-handed boxers because the majority of, of Humans are right-handed, all right. So that also entails that the majority of boxers are right-handed, all right. So um, for for a southpaw, in order for them, it's 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 they can't dissect the middle properly. Uh, let's go ahead and show them. Stand over here as a south as an orthodox. All right. So scoot over just a tiny bit about there. All right. So right here, it's hard for me to dissect the middle. I'm pointing towards my opponent properly, but my my toe is pointing outside of his uh, right shoulder, his outside shoulder. The only way a southpaw can dissect the middle at any given time is to step out. I don't know if you guys ever heard about that with the southpaw, you should never let them step out of your lead foot. This is the reason B, this is the reason why. All right, so um, go on this side. So if you, if, if the if an orthodox does the mistake of even stepping inside of my stance, go ahead and step in real quick. All right, if he steps in right here, I can also step in as well and just do that. And I already buckled this knee and I didn't even do it that hard. So all I had to do is just bring that knee in. That's it. That simple. And that's the number one reason why you never want to step inside of your opponent. Go ahead and step outside. If, I step, if he steps outside right here, he can do it to me. Go ahead and do it to me, the knee thing. All right, right there for one. Two, I can reverse it. It's hard. I'll miss it. I'll trip over myself as he's punching me. All right, so that's why as an orthodox, you should never let a southpaw step outside of you. For you southpaws, obviously it's vice versa. You should always step outside of your opponent. Uh, another thing is uh, uh, going back to 
orthodox against southpaw. All right, so um, uh, it, most of the time southpaws circle to your left as a as an orthodox. All right, because because they're circled to the right because of the way their foot are naturally positioned. All right, so the, that means is he has to cut me off from doing that because I'm going into his uh, 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 weak side and I'm getting closer and closer and I could get his weak side easier. All right, so he has to prevent me from doing that, basically cut off the ring uh, to me, which is doing the same exact thing. Let's go over here in front. So right here in front, in front of me. So if I, I'm done punching, boom, 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 I'm going to circle this way naturally most of the time unless I get myself out of that habit. But even in the heat of battle, it will still get back in there naturally because of the way our bodies work. So anyhow, so the way he prevents from doing that is once again, just step over, boom, boom, step over, see he's already stepping over, and now he didn't, uh, I did not uh, get the advantage of him. He actually has a better advantage on me right now. Now I have to go this much over to get back outside of his uh, lead foot, all right? So I have to go that much over, all that, it actually takes time, right there, I'm compromised, and he's already loaded up to give me a straight all the way down the pipe to knock me out and vice versa once again southpaw for orthodox all right so if you're a uh, if you're a south uh, orthodox most of the time you naturally will fall towards your right side all right meaning if you're if you're orthodox boom boom you go this way because that's the way your feet are pulling all right naturally you keep circling towards your left all right naturally unless you uh, get yourself out of the habit anyhow so that means you're going to be going towards the left. Same thing for southpaw. Don't let them step out of you. Go ahead, punch, punch, and move away naturally. So same thing. Step over. All right, come over here this way. All right, do it again. Boom. Just step over just like that. All right. Another thing is as soon as you step over, I, get, I, I recommend uh, as a southpaw, when you step over, do that dip under. Go ahead, uh, two shots, and then step over. Just like that, because if he does the same thing, he's going to shoot to the last place he's in your head, which is the top. All right, so if you step over, if you don't step over, go ahead, boom, boom, right, boom, he can easily hit me right there. All right, because my head is still in one spot, which is naturally what he's going to most likely going to do uh, if he just decides to shoot. So, once again, go ahead and step over, so step over naturally, like that. All right, so see how I went down and went over, so right here I can either throw a hook, a right hook, or a left straight, all right, any which way. So basically, that's all it is, all right. For a southpaw, all you need to do is just step out of your opponent, all right. And then the way you do it is the way I, I, I train myself is I look at the mirror. I stand as the opposite of what I'm trying to train against. So if I'm trying to be uh, trying to uh, uh, find a way to find an opening for a, uh, against a southpaw, I stand as a southpaw, and then I look at myself as a righty. And then uh, uh, in the mirror, right? It's, it's a perfect reflection. So now I'm standing as a as a uh, right-handed fighter. So then I try to figure things out that way, and I reverse it over against the southpaw. So that's what you can do as well. So once again, you can't stand in your normal southpaw stance. You gotta stand as a righty. It's gonna be awkward, uh, but if you can get that out of your mind and, and use the reflection to your advantage, trust me, you can uh, train yourself. All right, I have for many years, many many years. Anyhow, so that's the way a southpaw would dissect. Uh, the midline of a orthodox fighter. Once again, my name is Jesus Medina. I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self defense training. I want to give thanks to my friend here, Warrior Steven, for letting us, uh, uh, helping us demonstrate this. Uh, don't forget, you're